Cineguac. What's going on? Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to add video inside your text. I saw this most recently in the movie trailer for the movie 1917. It looks really awesome, it's a cool effect, and today I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's go! Alright, so here we are in Premiere. Now the first thing you want to do is drag the video that you want seen within your text onto your timeline. In this case, I'm just using a piece of stock footage I purchased from Pond5, but you can use any video clip you want. So let's just drag this along here. And maybe we can make it last for, how about, six seconds. So, the next thing you want to do is go to your text tool. You can either click on it right here or just hit T on your keyboard and find the part of the frame where you want your title to live. So let's just call it title. And let's just adjust the size of this approximately. We'll probably adjust it even more later. But let's just sort of make this super large so it takes up the majority of the frame. Let's go to our graphics workspace and hit edit. And let's just highlight the text and let's change the font to something a little bit more cinematic. Impact looks nice. And let's just enlarge this even more. And we can just auto align this on the X and Y axis so that it's perfectly centered in frame. And let's just adjust the title so that it lasts for the exact same duration as our clip beneath it. So as you can see now, we just have a simple title over our video. Now here's where the magic happens. What you want to do is go to your effects library and type in an effect called track matte key. You'll find that in video effects, keying subfolder and drag the track mat key to your video layer. Do not drag it to your text layer, drag it to your video layer. Once you have the effect on your video layer, go up to effect controls and go to your track mat key options. Go to where it says mat and hit this little drop down menu and select video two. Now the reason why I select video 2 is because our title is located on video track 2. If it was located on video track 3, we would select video track 3. And basically what this effect does is mats out everything that is not the title. So as you can see here, we now have some beautiful video inside our text. Next thing we want to do is animate it so that the text starts behind us and slowly animates onto screen. So the way that we do that is let's just highlight our text layer and drag it all the way to the very first frame and let's scale all the way in until we don't see any more text. It is just our video. For me, that is at 1,688 scale and let's set a keyframe for the very beginning. Then let's just drag it forward a few seconds and let's set another keyframe. We can just revert it back to normal by hitting this re reset parameter button right here. And so now as you can see, it animates from our 1688 value to normal. And just so that it doesn't sort of slam onto screen abruptly, we can right click this keyframe and select ease in. And that way it sort of comes to a little bit smoother of a stop. And maybe even drag this out a little bit just so that it doesn't come onto screen as quickly. It takes a little bit more time. And there you go. Now just to make it a little bit more dynamic, we can set another keyframe all the way at the end for, let's say 90. Let's drag this all the way to the end. So now the moment that the title comes onto screen, it continues to sort of move away from us. Now we could end it there, that looks pretty good, but I think it would be a little bit more interesting and a little bit more like the 1917 movie trailer if we slowly cross dissolve to a nice color gradient. So we'll dissolve from our footage to a nice four color gradient. So the way that we do that is let's just go to our project window and let's click on new item, color mat, and we can make this any color that we want. I'm going to make it purple because it's on brand. Purple. And let's drag the purple color mat onto the timeline. Now let's find our halfway point. 
at about three seconds to be exact. And let's just overwrite this right there. So now halfway through our clip, it cuts from our video to our color mat. And let's just drag this in so that it matches the exact same duration of our title. Then what we want to do is drag the exact same track mat key effect that we put onto our video layer onto our color mat. So let's just go back to effect. Here it is. Drag the track mat key onto our gradient and go up to effect controls with our color mat highlighted and go to track mat key mat and hit this drop down menu and select the same option video 2. So now as you can see we have a hard cut from our video layer to our color mat. Now I think it would be a little bit more dynamic if we add a four color gradient to our color mat. So instead of it just being purple it'll sort of be a nice blend of colors. So let's just go to our effects panel and let's type in color gradient. And here under video effects, generate subfolder, we have a four color gradient effect. Let's drag and drop that onto our purple color gradient. And as you can see, by default, it selects four random colors on the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. And with that color mat layer selected, we can go back to our effects controls, scroll down until we see the four color gradient effect. And here we have all four points. We can change these colors to whatever we want. So again, let's just sort of keep this on brand, make that purple. Let's make this blue value a little bit more green. And now as you can see, it fades slowly from pink to, or purple to green. So now we still have that same hard cut from our video layer to our color gradient. So what we should do is go to effects and type in gradient and you'll find a gradient wipe in your wipe transition subfolder and just grab that gradient wipe and let's drag and drop it right in between our video layer and our color mat layer and let's just increase the softness so that the transition is not as sharp it's a little bit softer and hit ok now we can just zoom in here and let's extend the duration of this transition effect. So it's a little bit longer, a little bit smoother. And when we play that through, we have a beautiful animated title with video inside the text as it slowly fades to a color gradient. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. I spend a lot of time putting these videos together, so, you know, just show me your love and hit the subscribe button. I'd very much appreciate that. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Later.